So as I told you, what we're going to learn today is, you know, what the matching heading or how to do it. Uh, the challenges we generally face, the students face a lot, you know, while answering and the skills that you need to answer. And of course, and of course, the strategies we are going to learn how to solve step by step. OK, and of course, some essential tips that are required that we need to know. And if we have time, we'll do some sort of exercise at the end. OK, OK, so here you are here, as you can see some, you know, this is this is just a home page of new scientist. If you um, search newscientist.com, you get this page. So you see there are, you know, uh, phrases and sentences. The first one is severe COVID-19 symptoms linked to more than 1300 genetic variants. So this is a heading. And the second one is bacteria bred from 2000 generations settle long term evolution mystery. So this is the heading. So these are all the headings that we can see. So as soon as you click on them, you get the text, you get the passage, you get the article. OK, so these are the headings. OK, we have to know and we need to know the headings. So what do you have to do? We have, uh, you know, now we have headings and we have a, if we have a text, for example, without headings, what do we have to do? We have to match these headings with the text. For example, these are all headings, right? And we have all text without headings. So what do you have to do? We have to match this text. Those are without headings with these headings. So this is a, just a common page, a home page, a typical home page of a magazine, newscientist.com. So this is the other one, popularscience.com. Uh, if no, that's not actually popularscience.com. You have to write popular pop, p o p pop, s c i dot com. Then you will find this. Um, you know, page, popular science page. Um, so in the same way, you see some some sort of, uh, you know, there are three headings the, uh, on, your, on your right, as you see. The first one is your, your connected car could be putting your privacy at risk. Okay. Uh, the second one is a new tail accessory propels this robot duck across streams. Okay. And the other one, the main, the main one, the main news is here. Um, I'm just reading the half of it. The Chicago shore birds that became the face of a movement. So I'm going to read that one. This one. Okay. So this is in detail. So those are the headings that we just read. And this is the main heading of the previous one on the previous slide, as you see, about the Monty and Rose, the Chicago shorebirds that became the face of a movement. OK, so this is the heading and there is a text, the article. Um, However, what I did, I just like curtailed it. Um, I, I just uh, put the second paragraph and the last paragraph. Uh, so what is the heading? The heading says, remembering Monty and Rose, the Chicago shorebirds that became the face of a movement. Okay, the birds became the face of a movement. So now you have a question that how it can become the face of a movement. So, of course, a movement uh, within what? What is the periphery of the movement? And this is the heading and there is a subheading, the title and the subtitle. So read the subtitle. I'm going to read for you. The bird's legacy will endure through restoration efforts for endangered Great Lakes wildlife. Okay, 
If you don't understand most of the words, still not a problem, but try to grasp the main idea. Okay, so the heading says that Monty and Rose, they are the birds, they are the face of a movement. And the subtitle says that um, this will or the legacy will endure through restoration efforts, preservation efforts for endangered uh, Great Lakes wild life. So the birds are the wildlife. And so as soon as we will read, we'll come to know what it is about. Okay, before that, I need to check my friends. Ah, great. Awesome. Many of you have joined already. Uh, Kamrun Nahar, Masum Tanvir. Thank you very much, Motalib Hussein. Superhero. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Shamim Hossein. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Anando Tariq, thank you for watching. Kazi Zaman Bhai, thank you very much. Islam Aminul Biplop, thank you for watching. Thank you, Biplop Bhai. Abul Hussein Bhai, thanks for watching. Uh, Shaun Sharir. Okay. 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 Uh, so, Shaun Sharir, I must uh, have, a, have a session with you because I need to know what problem actually you faced. So, I guess tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow, please uh, um, set a meeting so that we can discuss and we can solve your problem, your particular problem. Don't worry. Abul Hossein, thank you, sir. Thank you, Abul Bhai. Thanks a lot. Interval Saleh. Thank you. Uh, Mamta Zul Abedin, thank you for watching this. Uh, Aliyah Ferdos Zahan Rima, thanks for watching this. Im, uh, Imtizur Hassan Sabit, thank you. Imtizur Bhai, Anu Muni, thank you. Uh, Rumi Hossein Bhai, thanks a lot for watching this. Taslim Bhai, thanks for watching. Ah, Nasir Uddin, thank you. Bilal Uddin Bhai, thanks a lot. Kazi Lemon Bhai, thanks for watching this. Serazam Munira. Zaina, thanks for watching this. Serazum Munira. Shams uh, Jahan Farhat, thanks for watching this. Yasin, thank you for watching this. Uh, Shammi Sigdar, thanks for watching this. Uh, so I'm waiting for your question, my dear friends. Uh, Shaim Sarkar Nabab, thank, thank you once again. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again here. Asif Hassan. Ashru, thanks for watching. Abdullah Alif, thank you very much. Shubha Kumar, thank you. Uh, Al Amin Bhuya, thank you, thank you, thank you. Al Amin Bhuya, as you said, big fan. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Uh, Tushar Siddiqui, thank you. Please share this live session with your friends and family members so that they will be benefited, I guess. Of course, of course. Uh, Wakil Ahmed, thank you, thank you, all of you. Thanks a lot. So as you see, I'm going to read this, uh, the second paragraph and the last paragraph for you so that you will have an idea and you can match with the heading, okay, to the text. So the Monty and Rose, the Chicago show, shorebirds that became the face of a movement. Wow. So you see, the heading should be very attractive so that that can bring people, that can attract people to read the text. So I'm going to read the text and I'm going to read the second paragraph and the last paragraph. So uh, you see there are two different paragraphs. So that's not the first paragraph. That's not the introductory paragraph. This is the second paragraph. And this, the last one is actually the concluding paragraph. So I'm going to read it for you. This species these species struggle against human activity and flooding makes the story of Monty and Rose, a celebrity plover couple from the north side of Chicago, that much more important. Okay. Okay. So uh, they, they become the celebrity. These two birds become the celebrity. Okay. So, 
I'm reading the first sentence again for your understanding, understanding because the first sentence is actually the topic sentence that can give you the idea of the paragraph. This is the second paragraph. These species struggle against human activity and flooding. Okay, so they are struggling um, against human activity and flooding makes the story of Monty and Rose, a celebrity plover couple from the north side of Chicago, that much more important. After nesting and summering, after nesting and summering on Lake Michigan for three summers, this May, Monty unexpectedly died from a fungal respiratory infection. Sad news. So the last paragraph says, Saunders says that people grow more excited and knowledgeable about the species. So in between the first paragraph and the last paragraph, there are other several paragraphs. I just, uh, you know, for your convenience, I just omit them, I ignore them, and I put two paragraphs, the second and the last. So I'm going to read the last paragraph again. Saunders says that people grow more excited and knowledgeable about the species. Monty and Rose's story helped fuel what Saunders call the plover fever, still spreading through the documentaries, shards, and tributes of the small birds giant community i know many of you have uh, you know uh, kind of difficulties of understanding couple of words but again we have got uh, an overview the gist i guess is understandable so now i guess after reading this text you can match with the heading so that's the most interesting part so as i told you in the beginning this is the most beautiful an intellectual ability, the most beautiful and the most intellectual types of questions, uh, a heading matching particularly, I would rather say. So, okay, um, Shaim Bhai, you have a question. You said that, my question is how can we get the main point of a passage Forget about passage. Think about just uh, a paragraph. Okay, if I consider a paragraph, of course, because heading matching uh, deals with paragraph. So my question is, how can we get the main point of a paragraph, if I consider, to answering the heading type of question? So if you consider now these two paragraphs, and now if you consider the title and the subtitle of course you can find a good link between them okay now don't worry my dear friends just stay with me today some exciting things are waiting for you so don't worry okay and i'll be teaching and i'll be sharing a step-by-step -step process okay so just be with me don't worry this is going to be a very valuable session for you okay um, I actually gave much time to prepare these slides so I believe this will help you a lot okay so I guess uh, you have questions and some of you only few of you are asking me questions uh, not some of you even but I guess um, many of you have the same questions and inshallah you'll get your answers uh, many of you have already joined. Ayub Onik Bhai, thank you very much. Nahid Hassan Turjo, thank you very much for joining. Turjo Bhai, Jahangir Kabir Bhai, thanks for joining. So, as you see this one, this is from American Scientist. The Another heading. Okay, so the heading says, uh, preparing for tomorrow's pandemic today. Preparing for tomorrow's pandemic today. The texts are too small to see, so I'm going to read them aloud, read it for you. But again, if you consider the heading, 
Now you guess what it can be. Now you guess what it can be. Just guess. So my dear friends, even though you are not uh, up to IELTS, you are not uh, appearing for the IELTS test. But again, this session will help you a lot for your better understanding of reading. Okay? So, if you consider the heading, of course you can see the heading. Preparing for tomorrow's pandemic, comma, today. So you are preparing it, preparing for something today. What is that? What is the something? Tomorrow's pandemic. Okay, so as you know by this time, what is the pandemic and what happened last year and, and in 2000, um, 2020, in fact. Uh, so the question is, without reading the text, can you guess something? Can you guess something without reading the text? Okay, I'm going to read it for you. And now you try to match with the heading to the text. Invisible viruses are circulating all around us. Invisible viruses are circulating all around us. Although many do not, in fact, Humans, although many of them, many viruses, do not, in fact, humans. Some have potential to spill over into our species. These viruses, known as emerging viruses, are found all over the world and include Coronaviruses such as SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19. However, experts warn that SARS-CoV-2 won't be the last coronavirus to make the jump to humans and that we need to be prepared to treat new emerging viral infections before they begin infecting humans. Okay? So you see, the way you were in fact thinking about the heading, uh, the visualization, the image that you created inside your brain, now you see a little bit match with the heading. So the text that is too small to read, and after reading that, now you see there is a match. So I'm going to read it for you again so that you understand. So the heading says, preparing for tomorrow's pandemic today. And the text is, I'm going to read it for you, invisible viruses are circulating around us. Although many do not infect humans, some have the potential some have the potential to spill over into our species. There is a chance. These viruses, known as emerging viruses, emerging viruses, are found all over the world and include coronaviruses such as SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19. However, experts warn, okay, Warn. Experts warn that SARS-CoV-2 won't be the last coronavirus to make the jump to humans and that we need to be prepared to treat new emerging virus infections before they begin infecting humans. Okay, so it's preparation. So now you see there's a good match between the heading and the text. So... There's a big question. What is matching heading? So let's learn about matching heading. So what is matching heading? Okay, headings are short phrases or sentences that summarizes the information in a paragraph. Okay? The title and the subtitle also are the same thing. You have to pick in IELTS, basically, 
you have to pick the one that best summarizes. In some cases, the best choice, okay, in a paragraph. The task is to find the most suitable heading for each of the paragraph. There will be more heading, of course, more heading, more choices than paragraphs. And you shouldn't use any heading more than once unless the instructions tell you that you can. Okay? So this is just a basic, you know, un until and unless you solve it, this would be a kind of enigma. Okay, so, you know, there are two different formats nowadays. It was only one two years back, only pen and paper, but now it's computer delivered test, okay? Side by side, the pen and paper. If you are like a, a, a tech savvy, for example, if you are a tech savvy, uh, there is a good chance that you, you can perform uh, with, uh, I guess, the computer delivered test. But, um, you know, people like me are still habituated with the pen and paper. I like to write, okay, with a pen rather than typing. So, wow, awesome. So what does a pen and paper look like and the computer test delivered test look like? Let's see. So this is uh, basically, what is it? Who can guess? This is a pen and paper type, the format look alike. Uh, the same thing. I have a book with me. Let me show you. I know it's far from here, but again, I'll try. Let me try. Heading matching. Heading matching. Seriously. Okay. I don't see. Ah, cool. So this is a typical one. So this is a pen and paper. And this is the type. This is how it would be given. Okay. The heading matching on pen and paper. And as you can see here on the slides. How about computer-aided, computer-delivered testing? So you see uh, on your right the headings and on the left the text and there is a gap like you see uh, the number 19, 20, 21. So what do we have to do from the right from the list, you drag the question to the gap 19 or maybe 20. So you can drag the first one, uh, how a math experiment actually reduced traffic congestion. Or maybe how a concept from one field of study was applied in another. Or maybe areas of doubt and disagreement between experts. So you see there's a list of headings. There's a list. So you drag one, any of them which is suitable, you drag to the gap, maybe 19, maybe 20, and maybe 21. You see, these are the gaps. So you drag this and uh, put them uh, to the gap. There, there is a gap, you know, 19, 20, and 21. So you drag them and put them on the number. So these are basically gap or maybe the number. So on the gaps or maybe on the numbers, you just... Uh, drag them, drag and drop. So this is a kind of drag and drop type of questions. Uh, if you're habituated, awesome. If you're not, you can just try. It's just simple. Okay. So, so many more things are waiting. And many of you have already joined. Awesome, awesome. Aha. So, Onik, uh, Ayub Onik Bhai... Turjo Bhai, Jahangir Kobir Bhai, Jaman Rumi Bhai, 
Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for joining. Mahabubur Rahman. Sir, I love the way you teach. Or the Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mahabub Bhai. Thanks a lot. Anwarul Mondul Bhai. Thank you very much for joining. Jahidul Islam. Alif. Thank you for joining. Mahabubur Rahman. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Mahabub Bhai. Haidar Ahmed. Thank you for joining. Shakur Wafa. Thank you for joining. Fatma Jahan. Thanks for watching this. Uh, Apurna Roy. Thanks for watching this. Uh, Ramesh Bell Base. Thank you for watching, Ramesh. From where you were watching, please write the name of the place so that we understand from where you were watching this. Mustafa Kamal Shajib Bhai. Thanks for watching. Saiful Islam Shikdar. Thanks for watching. Afnan Shikdar. Thank you very much for watching this session. Stay until the end. I guess you'll get a lot more things. Uh, Rahin Chaudhuri, thanks for watching. Jannatul Firdaus, thanks for watching. Mustafa Kamal Bhai, thank you very much. Uh, Ham Duang Ab Abut Hussein, thanks for watching. From where you were watching, please write the name. Jannatul Firdaus, Assalamu Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum. Shahriyar Ahmed, thanks for watching. Borhanuddin Bhai, thank you very much for watching this session. I would be very happy if you ask me questions so that time to time I also can answer to your questions, to your confusions. Yes, of course. So, now I'm going to have a test. Uh, just try, don't worry, just try. Uh, Antima Pronita from Kulna. Thank you, Antima, for watching it from far away. Saeed uh, Anik Rahman, Assalamu Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum Saeed Bhai, uh, Shamima Nasrin Shampa, thank you Shamima for watching, please write from where you were watching, Roshan Lucky, thank you for watching, uh, Hossein, you are watching it from Somalia, far away, thank you, Hossein, thanks a lot. So if you have any question, you can ask me so that you can get your answer, the right answer. One thing I must tell you, when it's been long I've been teaching. It's been, uh, I counted a few days back that it's, it's been 18 years I've been teaching. I started in 2004. It's long, 2004. So it's been 18 years. So... Uh, I love teaching and instructing IELTS, helping people. There are many graduates, uh, um, they, they, in fact, they took help uh, from me um, and got a good score, achieved a tremendous score, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, even 9. So that's an achievement, I guess. You know, this is my pleasure. Um, so... I want to tell you that if you if you have question and if you have confusion, you ask me the question right away, you get the answer. I try to research a lot to give the authenticated information. So that's why I believe that those who are watching this, you'll get the right information, which is the best part of this live session. Okay, so. Uh, I've been waiting for your answer. So read this and write an appropriate heading, couple of words or a phrase or uh, just a sentence you can write. Okay. So uh, Abed Ali, uh, Mahabubur Rahman Bhai, and many of you are watching. Thank you. Uh, Raushan Lucky from Takurga. Thank you very much. Far away from this city. Okay. So, I've been waiting for your answer. So, you're going to have a test. Just test yourself, which is going to help you, in fact. So, this is the text here. I've been, uh, I, I think you can see the text, okay, uh, on the screen. Um, I'm going to read it aloud for you. Winning the lottery would make you happy, but only for a short period of time. After getting used to the luxuries of having enough funds for grandiose homes, 
better food and nicer clothes. We go back to how we used to feel before we won the prize. Therefore, winning the lottery doesn't guarantee happiness. In fact, lottery winners even reported being unhappy after they have won the prize. Awesome. So just try and write a heading. I'm going to wait for a while, uh, for just a couple of seconds, for 10 seconds from now to see who is going to win a big clap and thumbs up. Please write a heading. If it is a mistake or if it is a wrong, no problem, just try. I'm going to give you the answer, don't worry, just try, okay? From now, you'll get exactly 10 seconds. Just read this and write a, 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 an appropriate, if not an appropriate, close to uh, an appropriate heading, okay? Many of you have joined already. Khurshid Alum Bhai, thank you very much for joining. Uh, Hussein, you have a question, sir. Can I get distance learning for preparation IELTS? Of course and of course. Don't worry. Uh, we'll be contacting you very soon. Don't worry. Lima Bhuya, watching this. Thank you, Lima, for watching this. Khurshid Alom, thank you from Nauga. Wow, Khurshid Bhai, thank you very much. Ashraf Ali Bhai, thank you very much. From where you're watching this, please write. Akib Al Islam, thank you very much. We can't buy happiness. Okay, close to that. Uh, Medha Khan, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, Akib Al Islam, your answer is close to that. Money never make should makes happiness. Said Ashik Rahman, thank you, Said Ashik Bhai. Uh, you are trying. Fantastic, awesome. Uh, most of you are very close to that. Great, great. So, I'm going to give, give you another five seconds and, and see uh, who is the best, who is the closest to the answer. Just try, everyone. No problem. So that you get your confidence higher. Okay. Great. Fine. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you the answer. Don't worry. So, what is it? What are the problems you faced? What are the problems you faced? Too much information that come across in each paragraph. I mean, the last paragraph, if, if we consider. And... Uh, a bit difficult for students to get the main idea, of course, and of course, uh, difficult to get the main idea, okay? And within a short time, because I, get, I, get, I gave you only 10 seconds, uh, you may get uh, around like um, 40, 50 seconds, or maybe one minute. Um, looking for too much details, and this is what we do, in fact, we read a lot, every bit, every single bit, every word. Okay, in a paragraph. And so what happens? You spend much time. Okay? Um, or in one uh, question. Okay? So that can create pressure uh, on other questions that come afterwards. So if you take much time for the one, so you have a pressure for the second one. Okay? And when you are in rush, people try to match just with the keywords, okay, from the headings to the words in the reading text. So make other mistakes as well, okay? And eventually end up with a wrong answer. So the other problem uh, that relates with uh, and to this question type is they are not, you know, an order questions, okay, question type. So answers do not follow the same order in the reading text 
as the order of the question sentences. So what happens then? Okay. So if we consider this one, uh, the one you tried. Now, my dear friends, now my dear friends, uh, wow, Kamrun Nahar. Awesome. Thumbs up. Congratulations. So now, Kamran Nahar, for you, I guess, as now we see here, we have uh, all the options, like four of the options. And now I believe, uh, yeah, there's a buffering, I guess. You'll see it soon, very soon, within a couple of seconds. Uh, and you can choose the right one. Exactly, you are very close to the right one, Kamrun Nahar. Uh, and others, uh, Said Ashik Bhai, you are also close to that one. And Akib Al Islam, you are also close. But Kamrun Nahar, you are closest. And I guess this is the answer, in fact. I'm just waiting uh, for the, I'm just waiting for, for the slide, my next slide. It's due to the, you know, buffering of, of, the, of the internet, okay? I guess you can see it very soon. Just waiting for a couple of uh, seconds to see. I, I, I am on the next slide, but I can't see it. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Tanvir. <laughs> yes, I guess now you see, and Kamrun Nahar, now you choose, now you choose from one, two, three, four, there are four of them, now you choose your answer, of course you can. So you can choose easily out of uh, the four, you can choose easily. So what do you think? So I'm going to tell you the answer. Or you just would like to write? Okay, the answer is, uh, before that, I just would like to read it. Yes, Mahabubur uh, Rahman Bhai, thank you. Winning the lottery may not make you happier, of course, of course, that is the answer, yes. Winning the lottery, it, okay, now I'm going to read how we get them, how we get the answer. The first sentence is the topic sentence, and uh, of course we need to read the topic sentence very carefully because the topic sentence has the, has the, has the main idea, okay? And then we need to connect the main, uh, main topic or the topic sentence or the main idea with the other sentences, the the supporting sentences. So, so the, the topic sentence says, winning the lottery would make you happy, but, okay, there is a discourse marker that I underlined, that I basically uh, mark with a red color. So that says, but, okay, winning lottery would make you happy. So the other side, but uh, only for a short period of time. Okay, only for a short period of time. Okay, so after getting used to the luxuries of having enough funds, homes, blah, 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 blah. And later, the last sentence says, therefore, winning the lottery does not guarantee happiness. Awesome. Mahabubhai, awesome. Uh, Kamrun Nahar, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thumbs up, thumbs up. You have got the answer. So I guess uh, now you see how to answer them, okay? So can we try this one? Again, the last one though, so don't worry, just try. Uh, the next one, I'm going to read for your understanding because the, the text looks a little small, but uh, I guess you can read, but I'm going to read it for you. One of the reasons why this is so is because large sums of money can be a lot to manage. Large sums of money can be a lot to manage. 
Lisa from Massachusetts won one million dollar in 2004. And like all winners, she went on lavish vacations and bought a nice house. Lisa bought a nice house. However, a million dollars isn't much for taxes. She even opened a restaurant to keep the cash flowing, but to no avail. Losing everything in 2007. Another example is Michael Carroll, who turned from lottery winner to factory worker. Even after winning 9.7 million pounds. Oh my God. Janetty Lee, Willie Hart, and Lou Eisenberg are just some of the many names that have won the lottery but went from rags to riches and back to rags because of poor financial decisions. Now, my dear friends, tell me what is the answer out of the four? Just try. I guess now you can. And get a big thumbs up. So I'm just waiting for your answers, my dear friends. Quick. Because I have already read this aloud for you. And I guess you can answer easily. Okay. Let's see. Akib. Akib. I'm just waiting for some other answers as well. So, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, my dear friends. Big thumbs up. Akib al-Islam, thank you very much. Your answer is absolutely correct. Wealth management issues. So, Akib, there's a good chance. If you are going for the test, I guess uh, if you just practice a bit, there's a chance to get above six. Okay, and if you practice a lot and take one month, there is a chance that you can get even seven or above. Okay, so thank you, Akib. Akib al Islam, Akib Bhai, thanks a lot. Okay, so uh, I just uh, would like to see some questions from your part, but don't worry, the more you ask questions, uh, so that you can easily reduce your uh, confusions. Akib al-Islam, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, Akib Bhai. Thanks a lot. So, what are the skills that, that are required to answer this, to, an, to answer matching or this type? Okay, matching heading uh, questions, matching heading type. So, what are the skills that you need? Okay, so these questions... Test your ability to understand general information. Okay? So you don't need to read each and every word, everything. Just try to scheme. The ability to identify the purpose of a paragraph and the ability to analyze the topic sentence of each paragraph. Yes, of course. The ability to skim through the text and understand the main idea in the paragraph. Of course, and of course, you need to know how to skim. I mean, you don't need to read each and every detail and just being slow. What do you have to do? You have to read uh, the main idea and try to connect the main idea with the supporting sentences. Okay, this is called scheming. The ability to match each heading to the correct paragraph. Yes, what we did just a uh, few minutes back, we, we tried to match the paragraph 
you know, the idea of the paragraph with the headings. Okay? And of course, one heading, one. There, there were four of them, four headings, and we, we chose one appropriate one correct. And uh, the ability to use synonyms to confirm your answers and to guess the meaning from the context. Yes. So these are the skills that are required to answer this heading matching type. So if you lack these skills, what do we have to do? We have to enhance our scheme reading. We have to improve our synonymous words or uh, more, you know, the stock of words. We have to try to understand the purpose, the general idea. Okay? Yes, of course. So, now there's a question you may ask, how to solve? Please tell me, please tell me how to answer them. Step by step, of course. And I'm going to give you now the step by step process. For that, I know you have been waiting for a long time. And now I'm here to give you a step by step process to solve the heading matching. I believe until today, no one, no YouTube videos, none of your teacher have told you how to solve heading matching in this way, okay? So I'm going to discuss a step by step. And last couple of minutes, of course, you have an enough idea, a big picture of you know solving and of uh, the heading matching type of questions and of what are the headings in fact and why the headings and why the text and how they are linked between okay so i guess by this time you have got some idea now as i told you i'm going to give you a step by step process to solve the heading matching okay first you need to read the title and if there is a subtitle don't ignore it okay so as you see here the title shows T and the industrial revolution so you have a question in the beginning. Yes, I have read the title T and the Industrial Revolution. So, okay, what is it about? So what do you think? This is a big question. What do you guess? Aha, many of you have joined. Oh, Kamrun Nahar, you say the answer three. Yep, yep, of course, congratulations and thank, thanks a lot. Imun Bhai. Thanks for joining. Munir Hussain Bhai, thanks for joining. Mahabu Rahman Bhai, thank you, sir, for your guidance and inspiration. Thank you, Mahab Bhai. Thanks a lot. Wakil Ahmed Bhai uh, has joined. Thank you, Wakil Bhai. Thanks a lot. Just be with me. You see, until now, I try to give you the best suggestions, best idea of, uh, uh, of heading matching. Uh, so you see now, now what do you see? The T and the Industrial Revolution. Okay. So now you have a question or I would like to ask you a question. Uh, industrial Revolution with a capital I and a capital R. So now what do you guess? Okay. You have to be very skeptical about this. Very uh, you, need to, you need to scrutinize each and everything. So I'm reading the heading, but I'm actually, uh, I'm trying to scrutinize each and everything. T, an industrial revolution, that's a big question. W where is T and where is industrial revolution? Industrial revolution happened back in 18th century. Okay, so what, what is the difference between T and industrial revolution? Or where is the link and how they are linked? And why T in this event? Okay. 
Now read the subheading. The subheading says, a Cambridge professor says that a change in drinking habits was the reason for the industrial, with a big I, industrial revolution with a big R in Britain. Okay, a Cambridge professor says that a change in drinking habit was the reason. What the hell? Drinking habit was the reason for the industrial revolution in Britain. Seriously. So that brings me in the essay that, that hooks me, that attracts me to read the article. Wow, awesome. So this is the best part. And that's why in the beginning of my session, I told you heading matching or matching the headings whatsoever is the most beautiful and the most intellectual ability or intellectual type of question in your IELTS test. It's the most beautiful and the most intellectual type of questions. My favorite one. Okay, so, so after this, you know, reading the heading, you now try to see, try to guess, try to visualize, try to create an image of the relation between the tea and the industrial revolution. And changing the drinking habits was the reason for the industrial revolution. How? Big question. And of course, for that reason, we are going to read that. Yes. So, uh, yeah, uh, what I can do, I can uh, attach this, uh, the, the text, so that you, you have a chance to read in, in future. Uh, I'm going to now tell you how to tackle. So step number one, read the title and the subtitle. Step number two, recognizing the structure. So what is... Uh, the structure, what type of essay? Is it a discursive essay, factual essay, argumentative essay? Okay, what kind of passage, what kind of essay, what kind of write-up? Okay, so recognize, you need to recognize the structure. So this will help you find information more quickly. If the reading has an academic research structure, the researcher highlights a problem and then tries to solve it and then gives evidence to support his argument. As we see the heading, T and the Industrial Revolution, okay, so the structure is more research type. Although we may find some facts and figures, but this is a kind of research-oriented, research-type essay. So what do we can expect? We can expect a problem. We can expect solutions. So the problem, um, if we consider this essay, no one knows exactly what caused the Industrial Revolution in Britain. And the solution, the writer suggests that drinking tea could be the answer. So in the entire passage, you know, the, throughout the passage from the paragraph A to paragraph F, repeatedly you will find, uh, you will find the writer tries to find the reasons, tries to discover, tries to explore the reason why industrial revolution, the big I and the big R, industrial revolution that happened in Britain. So this is a kind of research oriented. So in the beginning, problems. At the end, maybe the answers. Or maybe in the middle. Okay, so step number three, read the text first. I mean the paragraph. There are other approaches. 
many of you would ask the same many of you would many of the many of the teachers many of the youtube and google professors may ask you or may advise you to read the questions first and then match with the text my question is if you start reading the questions you may have some confusion so how i can relate these questions with the text rather if we do the opposite the the way i just examined you a little quiz we we did few minutes back that i gave you a text a paragraph and i asked you to imagine and you imagined kamrun kamrun nahar imagined an answer which was absolutely the closest answer and later we found out that it was the answer even though she didn't see four of the choices but later what i did i gave you the text on the right and the uh the options on the left and then i mean the headings on the left and then you could match them very easily so this is what i did a test a real test a live test and what do you see my advice is correct my advice is read the paragraph first and then imagine an answer and as soon as you jump to the list of headings you can match it easily and fairly quickly so my advice is step number 3 read the text the paragraph first so it is important that you read the text first in the section and then the headings then match with the heading okay first you should fully read the first three sentences of a paragraph yes of course again the youtube professors and google professors would ask you to read the first sentence and the last sentence again i will prove that which is absolutely a wrong idea you may find for couple of cases but or maybe 50% cases so 50% means 20 out of 40 so if you answer 20 out of 40 means you get 5 out of 9 so what do you want 5 out of 9 or 7 or 7 above of course 7 above so follow my advice so my advice is read the first three sentences the first sentence of course the topic sentence the second sentence is actually supporting sentence which is supporting the first sentence so of course there is a good connection between the first sentence and the second sentence third sentence is supporting the second sentence and the first sentence to establish the writer's idea the writer's topic the topic sentence so of course you will find a good connection between the first the second and the third good enough you don't need to read the other sentences but uh sometimes it is advised that you can read a little bit more than that so the first three sentences would give you a clear idea of the main theme or the gist or the summary of the paragraph okay so the first three sentences read slowly okay yeah of course you can skim but a bit little bit slower you know slow and fast you need to balance between that and in detail the first sentence a paragraph of a paragraph will give a summary of what the rest of the paragraph will discuss yes of course but sometimes uh the first sentence may not give you all detail so the first sentence is the topic sentence yes of course step 4 check nouns adjectives 
and discourse markers, of course. Discourse markers. When reading the first sentence of each paragraph, look for the nouns and adjectives that qualify the subjects. Of course, don't ignore them. And check the discourse markers very carefully. Okay? Step number five. Before going to step number five, again, I would like to thank Syed Ashik Bhai, class Kuri. Thank you, Ashik Bhai. Uh, Zahidul Islam. Thank you, Zahid Bhai. Fayaz, thank you for watching this. Uh, Shariar Sakib Bhai, thanks for watching. Nusrat Zabin Momo, thank you for watching this. Nurul Anwar Bhai, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, Kamru, uh, Kam, Kamrun Nahar, uh, I face problem to watching the live Facebook session. No problem. As soon as uh, if you have uh, you know the network problem, as soon as we finish it, of course we are going to upload this. You can watch this again. Fabia Al Hilal, thank you for watching this. Uh, Taif Islam, thank you very much for watching this. Taufik uh, H. And Zoom, thanks for watching. Tafik Bhai, Wakil Ahmed Bhai, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot. So, step number five, read gradually. As I said before, I actually overlapped the step. I was actually a bit excited about it. So, because many of the YouTube professors are saying something. Um, I mean, it's their approach. I'm not going to, t you know, say that it's, it's wrong, but it's maybe their approach. Uh, so read gradually. Read the first sentence, the topic sentence, then read the second sentence and the third sentence. Those are the supporting sentences. These sentences can come along with examples. Yes, of course, examples that will give you some idea and the evidences to establish the main idea. Yes. Step number six. Paraphrase, paraphrase and paraphrase. I will discuss some other day about paraphrasing. It's an interesting one. This would help you in writing, in speaking, in listening and reading all the four modules. Paraphrases uh, or the paraphrasing is very important. Some other day I will discuss paraphrasing. So paraphrase each paragraph. You know, understand the main idea in that a particular paragraph after reading the paragraphs paraphrase them try to find the synonymous words and try to think of the possible heading remember think about the general information and not the detail i told you before not the detail this should only take a few seconds okay if you just try to find the general information it's just a couple of seconds or maybe like 40 50 seconds even less than a minute so don't worry don't worry okay so step number seven uh ahad talukdar thank you ahad talukdar bhai thanks for joining thank you very much um or no shaun thank you Sean Bhai, thanks for joining. So step number seven, no match with the heading. So what do we did? We did all these steps and then we get back to the list of headings. So step number one was actually reading the text, reading the paragraph. Uh, and step number eight, analyze the question at the end. So for your Convenience, I'm going to tell you again, step number one is read the title and the subtitle. Step number two, recognizing the structure. Step number three, read the text, the paragraph first, of course. So the title, the subtitle, knowing the structure and read the paragraph first. Okay. And then while reading the paragraph, check the adjectives. Discourse markers, nouns, the subject, carefully. And step number five, read gradually. First sentence, second sentence, third sentence. Okay? And of course, and of course, try to paraphrase because you're not going to get the same thing, okay, in the list of headings. Rather, you'll get some synonymous words as a phrase. 
Okay, so step number six, paraphrase. Step number se seven, now you go to the heading, list of headings and match. Okay, and of course, and of course, try to analyze the heading. Try to understand the keywords and synonymous words, but don't do it in the beginning, not as a first step. Okay, so these are your steps. So I guess now you get the steps of, you know, heading matching. Okay, some essential tips for matching heading. Scheme, read the paragraphs. Scheme, read the paragraphs. Of course, and of course, you don't need to read each and everything. Rather, you scheme it. Okay, for matching the correct headings, you must have a fairly good idea of the paragraphs. So scheme it. Quickly read it. Sometimes read slowly to get a connection between the first sentence and second sentence or maybe the second and the third sentence. Find a connection between first sentence and second sentence and third sentence, okay? Yes. Recognize the synonyms, of course and of course, and that's why you need to learn a good amount of words. And we have a book, vocabulary, you know, diary, that's a good source of words. Okay, I'm going to finish it within five minutes, so stay until the end and learn some essential tips, my dear friends. Okay, cross out the headings uh, you have matched. So as soon as, you know, you find out the headings, like for example, you find out three headings, so just cross out or just give a mark so that next time you don't get confused or messed up with them. Okay, uh, manage your time efficiently. Try to uh, manage time, of course. Try to finish uh, one paragraph in less than a minute. If you get more than a minute, it means uh, it takes you take more time. Last time I had a session on speed reading. You can check that out uh, on our YouTube uh, links. YouTube videos, you can check that uh, um, video of speed reading that of course it would help you how to finish quickly, fairly quickly and how many words you need to uh, read within a minute. If it is 300 words per minute, fantastic, absolutely nice. Uh, so manage your time. But if it is 100 minute in one minute, it's a little bit slow, okay? So, some additional tips. Last but not least, some additional tips. Uh, if you have uh, several question, question types for the same passage, yes and, uh, yes and of course, solve matching heading first. Do not solve other questions first. Never ever, never ever solve other questions first. Solve and of course, and of course, solve heading matching first. Okay? And look at some example. For example, um, heading matching uh, pa for paragraph A has an answer given. So don't just cross out, just check it. Okay? Just ch check back. Yep. Uh, of course, read the instruction. Sometimes, sometimes A and B or paragraph B and C could be given. So if you're going to do it again, of course you know you are losing your time, valuable time, time is money, you know. Uh, so, yes, of course. So, any more question, my dear friends? Any question? Anusha Ghosh, thank you for watching this. So please write from where you were watching this. Ekhtiar Ahmed, thank you for watching. Many of you are watching this. Aha. Uh -huh. Kamrun Nahar, I'm a student of BRC in Uttara branch. Awesome, thank you. Kamrun Nahar, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Uh, Ladan uh, Kade, you are watching this, no problem, because we are just at the end of this session, so as soon as we finish, you can have the chance to watch the entire session, this, because this session is full of, packed with information, so this is going to help you a lot. Trust me, you won't find any session on YouTube. You search 100 videos, I bet you. 
you search 100 videos none of the videos are similar to these videos this is packed with a lot of information so as soon as i finish it of course and of course you should watch this thank you very much thanks a lot thank you my dear friends and good night good luck to you okay and if you have as a pdf as a slide to you um, if you write an email to our link that we're going to upload so good luck to you thank you very much have fun and good night